So during the interview process, I asked, uh, I had a couple of candidates. I asked them to go out and create Instagram posts. Give me three sample posts that you would create for us that you think fits our brand. Um, and I do that with my writers too. You know, go out and find me a product that you would want to write about and why you think it fits in, into our brand. That's really important. Brand is very important to me because it's so personal. Um, and one of the things I, I didn't mention with your previous question is um, tone. Because tone is huge for Instagram. And because we have multiple people popping in and out of our Instagram account, um, it's important that it's kind of consistent. And I think that, that I'll, I'm not alone in that uh, I'm not the only company that has multiple people with their hands in the social media all the time. So just knowing that, you know, uh, whether or not your company is going to be cool with you saying something like, this chair is off the hook. Like, <laughs> you know, if you're going to be very casual and, and try to be very friendly and have that kind of tone of voice with with readers uh, or followers, it's it's pretty important to make sure that that matches with the previous posts that have come out, or else it's just going to feel really out of place. And and the same thing goes for the photos. So just like making sure that you're the person that you're bringing on understands. So doing that test where they send me examples is a great way to just get the feel of of whether or not they're at least close to understanding your brand or or have nailed it. And so the reason I hired the person I did was because she kind of nailed it. Sweet. Well, that, that's exactly what you're going. I think that's a good idea to, to almost test or have that trial period, isn't it, where you get them to, okay, let's supply, um, please supply us with um, some posts that you think match. And then um, you could even like run a competition if you've got two awesome people you can't decide between maybe post both the images and, and see or, you know, a series and, and see you know, test them and, and see if they're a good fit, if it's working. If, you know, you, you're you making that decision, I can see that, you know, some people might find that a very hard decision to make and why not go out there and almost let your audience decide as long as it, you know, fits and, you know, be careful, obviously, of entrusting because it is such an important position and responsibility. Yeah, I mean, the wrong photo or the wrong caption could make a huge, could be a huge problem. I mean, we've all seen bad PR happen to people who post the wrong things on Twitter or are just not, you know, it's just totally off brand or doesn't really make sense. And, and when it comes to people who create content like myself for, for a living, if we create something or we put something out there that feels like totally off brand, like our readers will instantly call us out on it and say, what is this? So they kind of know us sometimes better than we know ourselves. <laughs> 